Hello my respected viewers, friends and dear students. Once again, you all are welcome to my channel. In this question, there are four equilateral triangles ABC, BDG, CFH and EFD. We are given the area of triangle BDG is 20 square units and area of triangle CFH is 5 square units. And we have to find the area of triangle EFD. It is an interesting but a little bit tricky question. Before looking at the solution, just pause the video and try to solve yourself. Then you will see that how challenging this question is. Since the triangles are equilateral triangles, so each angle of the equilateral triangle will be 60 degrees so this angle is 60 this is also 60 60 here and this is 60 for two similar triangles ratio of the area of two similar triangles will be equal to the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides it means if triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR then area triangle ABC upon area triangle PQR is equal to AB square by PQ square or BC square by QR square or AC square by PR square. So I am taking these two triangles. These two are similar triangles because these two are equilateral triangles 60-60 by a test of similarity these two triangles are similar so area of this triangle upon area of this triangle is equal to this side square by this side square or this side square so it will be let us suppose a side of uh, this equilateral triangle is a so therefore 20 over this 5 and that is equal to this bd square over this fc square or a square so bd square is equal to a square into 4 4 a square which is bd is equal to 2a so this we found 2a now i am considering these two triangles bed and this uh, fec i am going to prove these two triangles are congruent let us suppose this angle is x. So this is 60 and this is x. So this will be 180 minus sum of these two. So 180 minus in bracket 60 plus x. So 180 minus 60 minus x. That is 120 minus x. This is 120 minus x. And this is 60 if we add these two it is coming 180 minus x to get this subtract the sum of these two from 180 so 180 minus 180 minus x will be x only now in these two triangles this angle is equal to this angle this is 60 this is 60 this DE is equal to this EF. So it means angle angle side angle angle side test by AAS test of congruency these two triangles are congruent. So therefore triangle BDE congruent to triangle CEF AAS test of congruency. That means corresponding sides are equal. BE is equal to BE is equal to CF and CF is A. So B is A and BD BD is equal to CE. BD is 2A. CE is 2A. 
Similarly, we can show that this triangle is also congruent to this. All the three triangles are in fact congruent with each other. Because this is 3A and this is A, this will be 2A. This is 3A, this is 2A, so this will be A. A 62A. A 62A. So this will also be congruent to this and this as well. And therefore, area of this will be area of this triangle will be equal to area of this triangle. And then to get this area, subtract the area of these three triangles from the bigger equal to triangle. But I am doing in other way that I am going to prove that this angle is right angle. And after getting this right angle, we can use either 30, 60, 90 theorem or by Pythagoras theorem, we can find D. After getting this side, we can use uh, root 3 by 4 side square to get this yellow shaded area. So to prove that this triangle is a right angle triangle, join midpoint of BD to this point. So let this point, this midpoint be P and P joined. So since this is midpoint, so BP is equal to PD. And this BD is 2A, so BP is A only. And this also A. Since BP is A and BE is A, it means these two are equal now. This is an isosceles triangle. So to get these two angles, subtract 60 from 180, which is coming 120, divide by 2 to get each angle. So this 120 divided by 2 is 60. So this angle is 60. And similarly, this angle is 60. All the three angles are 60, 60. It means this triangle is an equilateral triangle. This is 60. So its linear pair will be 120. Now PD and PE are equal as this is an equilateral triangle. So A, A and A this also. A and A. So it is an isosceles triangle. So these two angles are equal. This is also x. x plus x plus 120 is 180. So 2x is equal to 180 minus 120. So 2x is 60. Therefore x is 30. So this is 30. This is 60 and this is 30. So this angle is now 90 degrees. So this triangle BED is a right angled triangle. Now by using Pythagoras theorem, this is square. Uh, minus this square will give you this square or you can use 30 60 90 theorem side opposite to 60 degree angle will be equal to root 3 by 2 times of hypotenuse so d is equal to 2a into root 3 by 2 so 2 and 2 will get cut a root 3 this is d EF and FD all sides are now A root 3 units alternatively by using um, Pythagoras theorem this D square is equal to DB square minus B square so D square is equal to 4A square minus A square which is 3A square and therefore D is equal to under root 3A square so A root 3 now this is an equilateral triangle and equilateral triangles area will be root 3 by 4 into side square area triangle CFH is equal to root 3 by 4 side square is A square and that is equal to 5 given so therefore area triangle DEF is equal to area triangle DEF root 3 by 4 into side square side square means a root 3 square d is d side is a root 3 a root 3 square means a square into 3 so a square 3 but root 3 by a square is 5 5 into 3 is 15 and this is the required triangles area area of triangle DEF is equal to 15 square units and that is the answer.